Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We have a 2015 Skoda Octavia. We have a CXX engine in it. CXXA. We have, we have check engine light on and we have to diagnose and see what the story is and I'm gonna take you on a, a bit of a run through. Electronic diesel injection and 13 to 19. It's the Mahal, Scantuna Mali, some people call it, but I call it Mahal. Whether that is, is, is right or wrong, I, I don't know, but Mali. We have two fall codes in. OE or manufacturer specific. We have 3E30 and then we have a 5CF0. No description whatsoever for it. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do now? We're going to go back and I'm going to stop communication. I'm going to head back again. Back again. Come back up here. I'm just going to go into I know is right. What I'm going to do at this point in time is I'm going to go into OBD, European Onboard Diagnostics. Right. European Onboard Diagnostics. It's kind of a gen generic form of a scan tool communicating with all. Well, at this point, all um, cars. Okay, right. We have something that we can actually work with here. We have a P. Zero six seven three, actually by two. So it's break down our abbreviation is cylinder number three glow plug. All seems nice and quite easy, as we'll say. I'm just gonna pop out here and show you what. There I say the, the camera work. Someone was I was watching a video quite recently there. I think there's SY Diagnostics any or SY Diagnosis, whatever it is. Anyway, Steve said, sorry about the unprofessional video work, but it's watching YouTube I am. I'm not watching ITN TV or any of that, but I was saying it would break a great job. Right, what I am seeing in here and I'm gonna show you. We have number so we have number time belt side. Number one, two, three. And four. Okay, number three is what we're, we're going to be going after, but notice and see this. Okay, so standard looking glow plug block connector. But on number three, I don't know if, if you can see it, but you probably can. There's a couple of wires going in there. Singular wire on the other glow plugs, but a couple of wires going into this. Looks like there's going to be a pressure sensor inside in it, but we're going to pull the uh, block connector off it and take a look. Okay guys, first thing I'm going to show you is that that block connector on the pressure sensor glow plug was hard to get off and I didn't know if it was going to break and I was twisting, see what twist or pull, it doesn't turn or anything, it just pulls tight, tight but it just pulls straight up off there, okay? The best thing I can show you now is it's, sorry, not the easiest little yoke to look in at, but in saying that, I'm gonna try and point that out. There's a pressure sensor inside in this. That center piece here is for a glow plug. It goes kind of blurry when I put my, my little probe in there. There's, on the outside, on the brass bit, there's three little steps. Again, we can't rightly see it inside. You can actually look. You can see the brass little bits there on the side. On the brass little bits, that's one contact. There's another one a bit bigger, a little bit further up. And then there's another one a little bit bigger, a bit further up, with a pin in the middle for the actual glow plug. Okay? 
So the couple of tips I'm going to be taking from this is that this just pulls straight up after. Also, concern that I had was, does it go on in numerous ways, but it'll only go on in one way, okay? Now again, probably not much point in me fitting it, but it will only go on in one way, just for anyone that's a little bit concerned. So it, it's at that point, you can feel it, where it's just kind of trying to go on. I'm not gonna put, it is on, but I'm not gonna put it on fully. I'm gonna leave it off for now. I'm not gonna go after my pressure sensor wires and any of these other ones. I don't really mind about them too much. What I'm looking at is my glow plug and the big heavy wire here. If you can see it is for a glow plug. The other three smaller ones, the other three smaller ones then are for, if you can see, the size of it, it's quite a bit bigger compared to the other three, okay? Um, what am I doing then? An ohm meter here, I'm not taking any glow plugs out. I'm going to what I'm doing <coughs> open it's just an ohm meter. If I go to ground, I have zero ohms of resistance, so we're gonna check all the glow plugs. We'll check number one in here, okay? And I'm gonna run the a resistance testers in an ohm meter onto the top of the glow plug okay I have point six of an ohm I'm not gonna to go to the bad one as of yet on him same thing sorry about it there point six of an ohm I'm gonna try and get in at the, the next one which is a little bit hard so I'm actually on it there now. If you can see it, camera on focus. 0.6 of an ohm. Then come out. Probe. If I go in, where I'm actually checking this one for resistance is actually on that center core or that center piece. Okay. It's a little bit hard, and the camera ain't focusing on it right. So I'm just going to stick my test meter on the center core okay and that's 223 ohms of resistance so that is after failing those sensors are about 200 and odd euros each probably cheaper in the main dealers if we want to go well i have seen that it is cheaper in the main dealers than spurious so i'd probably suggest go main dealers but what the takeaway from here is that the actual glow plug the block connector comes off straight there's no clips that and hold it on kind of a i'm using a nice little whoop, i'm using a nice little roundy pliers there which catches it some way easy but that's basically it guys i'll um probably i get the new glow plug and i'll stick it in and we'll see where we end up okay okay guys i took apart a glow plug one of these with the pressure sensor inside in it, just so you could see how the internals of it works. I'm getting them in my own light. So we have three contacts, one, two, three, there for the pressure sensors. The other one runs straight up the middle, up to the center core, like is on that glow plug there. So that is the main, that is the main, the center one is the main glow plug circuitry, okay? What we should have had and we should have in one of those glow plugs. It's actually very similar to a standard one, okay? Sorry, I'm trying to get the position here. What we should have in here is we should have oh, under one ohm of resistance anyway, I'm saying. I'm getting a, one of these, a good, I kind of call it a verified good um, glow plug. I'm getting the test light, sorry, test light. I'm getting the test meter and have it set on ohms if you can see and it's quite simple it's quite simply then negative lead going onto the body of the glow plug and then i'm getting my i call it my positive lead and going onto the center pin okay well you should see there and you can see it is 0 0.75 0 0.76 touching off eight ohms of resistance i'm going to take it off lose it back on back down to 0 0.7. 
on the center post, okay? So I'm not touching off the side. Just as you can see, I'm just sticking it in the center core, okay? That's where we're getting the point eight. Seven or eight ohms are listening. Testing, uh, just the glow plug side of a pressure sensor and how to get them out, okay? Guys, thanks for watching. I hope this is some bit of benefit to you. Um, please like and subscribe if this is any good and I'll give you as many more tints and tips as I can. And uh, Thanks for all the comments. Thanks guys, talk to you soon.